Hello, I'm back. Pink hair, look. The only thing is, I like the colour, but what I did was I randomly shaved, like to skin, so it's it's grown quite quickly, um, all the way around my head, and I looked like uh, one of the Three Stooges, or but that is before my time, um, or like I come out of some kind of asylum or something. But yeah, I do like the colour. I think it's going to fade really fast. Um, so, I'm going to have another go. So I've been, I've, I've, I think I'm going to try. Um, I'm going to have to use a mirror close up, but we'll see. My glasses are so mucky. I never wear foundation, but what I have got so I'm going to try today is, it's called, I love doing this, I don't know, I don't know if it makes any difference. I suppose it depends on where the focus is. Is it doing it? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, it's um, Soap and Glory, Glow and Do It, Do It. The reason I like Soap and Glory is I believe it is all vegan uh, and cruelty free. The thing is with this, it's really... I mean, it says glow and do it. Skin illuminating base with energizing Lindera root extract. I could do with some energizing. Um, it's very sparkly. So I don't want to like, I don't want to look like I've got glitter on my face, but I wouldn't mind looking a bit more energized. So I'm just going to rub that in. It makes me very shiny. Very shiny. Oh, I quite like it though. I quite like that. I'm just gonna move the mirror a bit nearer. Oh, too near. Oh, that really does give a nice healthy glow. I like that. Mind you, if you get very close, I don't know whether you can see, you can actually see like individually bit like bits of glitter which I don't like. So it's really nice from a distance, but I'm not sure, like up close, um, whether I particularly like it. If you could see what's going on down here, it's just an absolute <laughs> mess. <coughs> I do need to tidy up a little bit. Actually, I did buy some, um, some powder, some fixing powder. So I wonder I could do that in a minute, just to maybe we'll take like the, the, sparkly shine off right cheeks bronzer so bronzer i'm gonna sound i'm gonna try and sound like i know what i'm doing bronzer i don't know what to do with these brushes i'm gonna use a flat one bronzer is like where the sun would naturally hit so i'm not sure how pigmented it, pigmented it is. So I'm going to put this where the sun would naturally bronze me. <laughs> um, which I'm guessing is, maybe eyebrows was a bit wrong. It is quite, I must admit, I do like putting it on. Now this palette is uh, from Aldi and it was like four quid and it's got a little mirror in it and I believe that all of Aldi's range is vegan and cruelty free and actually I really like the colour that that's giving me without actually looking like too fake. Why do they never put bronzer down the center of their nose why do people always highlight it don't know because that surely the sun would naturally catch you there but i'm going to just do a little bit over the top and it would catch me there and the other bit thing that i really there's a difference between bronzing and contouring see see already and i'm just going to put i know it's 
you're supposed to do contouring under there, but I'm just going to do a bit of bronze under there, see if I can get <laughs> rid of my double chin. I'll be better off like with charcoal. <laughs> and oh, the other thing they do is contour their nose. Why are they all obsessed with contouring their nose? Are we supposed to have thin noses now as well as the rest of our bodies? So, oh, exciting news. So I've just signed up for the body coach um, 90 day thing. He's got an offer on at the minute. It should be £97. Um, and he's doing it for 50 for 90 days. And you get like personalised, personalised, I don't know how personalised, um, exercises and recipes and stuff um I, i'm like the same as most people have put on that well like some people have put on that covid stone um and i just seem to be struggling to shift it i'm not a very good cook i wouldn't <laughs> when i was at university um i i just didn't know how to cook so some of the things i ate when i was at university i I uh, used to love smash potato with peanuts in. That was one of my specialties. Another one was you could get those like mini frozen pizzas, the margarita pizzas. Uh, those uh, in a sandwich. Very nice. Um, I once boiled two eggs in boiling water. And when I opened, I took the top off one egg, it was raw inside. So I opened the other one just to see if that one had cooked, even though they'd been in the same water for the same period of time. I just didn't have a clue. So I don't really know how to cook. So part of me thinks, I wonder if I'll get some recipes that will be quite easy. Because his whole thing is like lean in 15. I wonder if I get some, and actually be able to, some nice food that I'll be able to rustle up quickly. Um, so we'll see how it goes. I'm obviously going to look like toned and like abs that you could clean your washing on <laughs> within 90 days. But I just thought actually uh, I'd, I'd like to do something. I don't really exercise. I do. I am a dog walker. Um, so I do walk dogs, but I don't power walk dogs. I just stroll and sometimes go up and down hills. But yeah, it'd be interesting to see what that does. What with my makeup, my uh, Joe Wicks, <laughs> Britain's next top model. <laughs> okay, so I've done highlighting's the controversial now i have got a highlighter stick from lacura but that frightens the life out of me because that's really pigmented so i'm just going to do a bit of this highlighter but try to like hang on what do you highlight oh right so you highlight that doesn't seem to have done too much maybe i'm not and Hang on a minute, if you if you bronze the top of your cheekbones, you can't highlight it. Maybe I should have highlighted and not bronzed. Hang on. Well, oh, I know, I'll go top. I'll go right to the very top. Ooh. Ha Do you know what? Three vids, I've cracked this. Um. Now I'm going to, oh, hang on. Probably using the wrong brush now. So I'm also going to do a little bit on the nose. I am a natural. And the bit I really like is they do that. Now I've got really, really um, thin lips. So maybe this will bring out my trout pout without me having to actually get a trout pout. And the last one I'm going to do is is um blusher which i'm just gonna put can that you see that can you actually see that just putting it on like the apples of my cheek i think i've cracked it i'm quite impressed with that Although I haven't got my glasses on, so that could be a, a, a sobering thing. Eyebrows. Okay, so I bought the, the eyebrow pencils that I'd seen. I, I bought two from Maybelline, but I don't know whether you've seen the videos. Have you seen the Benefit 
that's like microblading it's it's 22 quid which is really expensive but i might because i i haven't got very dark eyebrows and i don't want like the tick but i'm quite intrigued to have um a more defined brow so i might look into getting those benefit ones i might treat myself or start a crowdfunding <laughs> So I've also got this collection pack. That's what I've always used to use. And I used to just use this middle one here and just basically fill in any gaps. But now that I'm profesh, I'm going to um, do it a bit more. So I'm going to brush them up. I think before I used to just fill in the gaps. Now I've decided I actually want to make a bit more of a frame of the face. So we've got this. Okay, so I've got this little tiny mirror I'm going to use. So I'm just going to try not to do like massive eyebrows. Ah, oh, on the Benefit um, website, you can have like an, a brow, turn your camera on and you can try the different brow colours on your brows, which I really enjoy doing. And I think it's really useful because, you know, it says... They don't have um, particularly good descriptions. You know, it's like brow pencil 4.5, which is absolutely no use to anyone. Whereas at least if it says like light blonde, dark blonde, brown, you've got a bit of a, a chance. But I'm just going to basically fill in the background. I'm not going to change the shape. I'm not going to try and do anything posh. Just going to fill in the background. Just to give a bit. A little bit more definition. I don't know about anyone else, but I'm struggling coming out of lockdown. I just, I don't know. I don't want the world to go back to normal. I quite liked how quiet it was and how low key it was and I don't know, it just seemed less to worry about. Anyway. I quite like those eyebrows. That's just a little bit of extra colour. A little bit of definition. A lot of the videos that I've seen, they say you should do your eyes first. Um, but we haven't tackled eyes. Right. What I'm going to do is I've got this like setting powder again it's collection I do believe collection a lot of it is vegan don't take my word for it please because I might be completely wrong um and it's cheap and I figured that if like if I'm just trying stuff out Cheapest, well, cheap and cheerful is my middle name anyway. I'm going to put some powder, again, YouTuber tip. Put it in there, and then I'm going to put it under my eyes to just catch anything that I can then brush it away. Maybe try that. I could leave it like that. If you can hear pitter patter, it's because my dog's freaking out that I'm talking. Although she's used to me talking to myself. Right, so the idea with that is that any of my eyeshadow drops, I can brush it away. Right, now it gets exciting. Uh, one or two brushes to choose from. I bought these ones off um, Amazon and they're just cheap and they're, they're quite soft, but I don't, I ages and ages ago bought these eco tool ones and they just, I don't know, they just feel, I, they've got like definite shapes. So I feel like it, it's clear what to do with them. Whereas these, I just feel like they've gone, oh, let's pick a shape. Yeah, we'll have that one flat. We'll have that one rounded. We'll have that one straight across. 
we'll have that one straight but going slanty and it just all feels a bit i don't know like like they're possibly not genuine gonna do me any good so i might start with the eco tools i did wash these this one uh, is for like filling everything in so i've got this palette uh from george which has got lovely lovely colors in they are a lot of them are like shimmery which i believe for ladies of a certain age one should not shimmer one should matte but hey ho i've also been re seeing bits about hooded eyes i seem to, i think i've got one hooded and one not thanks so we'll see so I'm going to start with this colour here. I'm just going to put that. Oh, look, loads of pick up something. I think there's a word. So you don't need to go in as harshly as I have just done. But I'm just going to pop that all over the lid, I think. The downside with um, with wearing glasses, but not obviously not wearing glasses to put makeup on, is that you squint when you're putting makeup on, and then afterwards you relax your face and you've got streaks down the side. So that's something to be aware of. Um, so I'm just covering the whole lid with that. I cannot wait to try the cut creases because it just fascinates me. What fascinates me is, oh, excuse me. <laughs> now that's very soft. What fascinates me and what I love watching is it, they just, they put a little bit of color on there and then do that for about 20 minutes and not sudden, and like have a brilliant eyeshadow. So that one was quite orangey, looking at the shadows. So that's, that's the one I used. Um, I'm not gonna go too dramatic, but I do tend to go for browns. Oh, that's quite orange. But the others are sparkly. I'm gonna go that one, because I think looking at those two looks like a better match than those two, because that, oh, sorry, those two, because that one looks a bit oranger. So I'm gonna go for that. You ready? I'm so excited. Okay, now I'm going to pop it in this corner. It's so difficult. I know, I'll get a different mirror. This has got a tiny little mirror. I'm just going to pop that there. And then I'm going to go. That's very pigmented, that is the technical term. And blend it up, another technical term. Yeah, I look, I look like I've been punched. That is way too much colour. And it just seems to go across. That looks a bit shit. Okay, so that was me trying to be. This is the kind of thing, what I would normally have done, what I would have done beforehand is take a lot smaller brush and just like laid it across there and then worked up from there. What they all seem to do when I've been watching on the tube of you is they start and go, they start at the crease and then fill in above and below. But that's just made me look like... Um, I've fallen in mud, basically. Uh, yeah, I might just give up. 
well, we're in for a penny and for a pound. I'm just going to finish the one. I'm not going to bother with the other. Um, I'm just going to do silliness. I quite like this red. Do you know what's really weird? Is the first few videos that I did, I didn't expect anyone to watch them. So it didn't matter. I was just doing them for me. And what's really weird is now that a few, you know, a few people have watched them, I feel like I've, like I've, I don't know, like I've got to be something I'm not, or I've got to entertain, or I don't know, which was never the point of this. The point of it was just fun and expression and and actually the the point of this originally was because I have no reason to to get dressed up and to make myself feel good in my appearance and the original point of this was that even if I didn't go out that I could prove to myself that I could look good and feel good and No, no, I don't know. I need to kind of get back to that because it doesn't matter. I'm not doing this for any other reason than it was supposed to be a reason for me to get dressed up almost for myself, not to entertain anyone or, or because there's bit you know whether everyone has the de that danger in their life that you stop. Sometimes you just stop being you because you become what other people want you to be. And I've got a bad habit of doing that in the past. And it's funny because in this video, I feel like that's what I'm doing. So um, I will upload this video because the point is it's about a journey. Love the word. But, um, but I need to sort of get back to what it was and what it was was um just about doing something to make myself feel better and it's funny because because I feel like a, a few people have watched it and I have to perform it just feels really artificial and that's not what I wanted so that is an important thing for us all I guess is that it's all right to perform we all have to but sometimes you just have to stop performing and just be yourself so with my one very dodgy smudgy eye but I'm just going to get rid of the powder because I was quite happy with my development in the bronzer um, highlighter and that wherever it's gone I'm really happy with because I really like the effect it has on my skin I can see myself going out just wearing that and clothes obviously <laughs> but um, just wearing that just again making my face look more awake and my skin look better more lively but I'm going to end the video because I'm not, I've lost my mojo because I'm trying to perform and that's not what I want to do. But uh, thanks for watching. <laughs> um, if you like the videos and you're interested in what comes next, then feel free to subscribe, click a like, put some comments, tell me um, what you do to feel good about yourself and how you remind yourself sometimes to stop performing for the public or performing for whoever it is you perform for in your life and remember who you are because it's important so thanks <laughs>